Hi everyone, this is Alvin over Contender Bicycles here in Salt Lake City in Park City, Utah. And I'm here today with the new 2020 Scott Addict RC road bike. This Addict RC is particularly interesting because it's a really good example of how the road bike market is changing as a whole. Over the past few years, we've seen a substantial push towards wider tires and wider rims, more aerodynamic profiles, as well as greater integration and disc brakes uh, proliferate through the road bike market. This one right here might be the ultimate example of such. Um, and interestingly enough, this is the Addict RC Ultimate, which weighs in at 6.9 kilograms, or about 15 pounds, claimed and confirmed on our scales without pedals. The new Addict RC has seen a lot of changes um, to make this uh, Scott's ultimate road bike, so to speak. Um, here's five of my favorite things. One of the things that's really cool about the new Addict RC is that it does a lot to offer up free speed. Um, besides cleaning up the head tube right here and hiding all the cabling through the stem and the rest of the bike, um, Scott offers up their F01 airfoil tubing, um, which is a design that was developed with the Scott Plasma TT bike as well as the foil aero road bike. Um, you see the airfoil tubing in the down tube as well as the seat tube. They've also lowered the chain stays um, and given it that same airfoil tubing as well. Uh, all said and done, Scott claims that at 48 kilometers an hour, that six watts are saved. Um, additionally, the airfoil tubing has allowed Scott to beef up the bottom bracket. Uh, they claim it's 13.4% stiffer to let you eke out every bit of energy that you put into the bike. Another thing I really like about the new Addict RC is its attention to detail. Uh, one spot that's really apparent is right here at the fork. Um, you can see that there are two bolts right here for the post mount brake, um, but Scott have actually put in a handy uh, magnetic cover that covers it up when not in use. Uh, there's also a cover right here for the Creston ICSL integrated uh, bar stem combo to cover it up when not in use. Um, and there's also um, an updated uh, seat post right here that cuts 66 grams off its weight despite it being the same design as the uh, foil discs. And that actually leads me to the next thing that I like about the Addict RC, which is the simplicity of the seat post as a whole. Um, as I said, the seat post design right here is shared with the foil aero road bike. However, they are able to cut 66 grams off of it, cutting it to just 142 grams for the seat post uncut. Um, doing so, they put in this new seat post clamp right here, which at just 12 grams offered enough clamping force to cut some uh, weight off that seat post and make it a little bit more flexible um, and aid ride quality of the bike as a whole. Now this bike feels really light and agile on the road and a lot of that has to do with the light weight of the bike as a whole. Um, and that leads me to the next thing that I like about the new Addict RC, which is the new frame design. Um, this thing, is cut down to just a three-piece design down from the eight-piece design of the previous Addict RC. Um, and the place that exemplifies it the most is in this rear end right here, which as you can see from this dropout is completely hollow. Um, it's actually a design that follows up to the front um, at the fork at the dropouts as well, where that's completely hollow too. Um, it's a design that's shared with the Scott Spark um, and we haven't seen that have any durability issues and we don't expect this to have any issues either. And now I might be showing off a little bit of my vanity, but I think my favorite part about the new Addict RC is just how good it looks. Uh, for 2020, Scott positively nailed the paint schemes on this bike. Um, this one, the Addict RC Ultimate, does a really good job of highlighting the ultralight HMX SL carbon fiber of the frame. Um, and in certain lights, you can actually see the weave of the carbon as a whole. Uh, besides that, you have these holographic logos, which I think look really good and they pop under the sun. Um, it makes the bike stick out really well, um, but even the entry level bikes look really good and they have quality paint schemes. And that's something that I think is really welcome in the road bike market. Maybe the only thing that's really carried over on this new Addict RC is probably the geometry. Um, there hasn't been a lot of changes in those uh, middle range sizes. However, double extra small, extra small, and double extra large have seen some changes to make the sizing range overall more progressive um, to fit a wider range of riders, as well as to ensure that the bike handles similarly regardless of uh, the size of rider. 
Um, additionally, this bike has been designed in mind with 28C tires and a 21 millimeter internal rim, um, which is positively massive compared to a vast majority of race road bikes out on the market. Um, and to do so, they've actually lowered the bottom bracket, they've lengthened the fork blades, and they've actually shortened the uh, head tube length. Um, it doesn't really change the stack and reach measurements of the bikes. However, it does make it um, more stable feeling and less tippy uh, when you're riding on the plump 28C tires. Another benefit of the 28C tire is that you can actually just rail the bike through the corners. The 28C tire gives you a little bit of compliance, allowing you to kind of just um, ride through corners without it feeling unsettled. Um, and you can just get on the gas as soon as uh, you felt it was right. Um, there's still a zippiness that this bike has that every good race road bike uh, ought to have. The fit measurements are pretty darn aggressive, which is something that I look for in a race road bike. Um, the steering is sharp and precise, and when you're going downhill really quickly, you might have to keep an eye on it. Um, but again, that's exactly what you're looking for for a race road bike, and the Addict RC does it really well. That's it, everyone. If you have any questions about the Scott Addict RC, the Scott Addict Lion, or any Scott road bikes, um, you're welcome to give us a call during business hours, visit our shops in Salt Lake City or Park City, or check us out online at contenderbicycles.com. Um, don't forget to follow us on social media and uh, subscribe, too. Thanks.